whatever you think you know about Western North Carolina and what's going on over there, you're wrong, unless you're there. I've debated on if I even wanted to make this video because I don't really want to start a bunch of conspiracy theories or anything like that, but I do feel like word needs to get out about what is actually happening that news is not covering. So here's the facts. Um, I have been uh, assisting with running missions and dispatch for an operations team there for the last week. And last week I was assisting running those missions in Ash County. I've been in Swannanoa this week and we've been running 70 missions a day, getting help to these people that are not being helped right now. So when I tell you this is first-hand knowledge, this is first-hand knowledge. The death toll of 200 or 200-ish is, is what's being reported right now. That's not accurate. Um, my organization sent out 10,000 body bags to local authorities this, this week, and um, they're requesting more. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that all 10,000 of those has been used, but it does mean that they're finding a need um, and that they're thinking that they're going to need more. Um, I will tell you, you know, we've spoken to some of the funeral homes and refrigeration truck companies that have been brought in, and there's you know, a thousand in this town, 800 in this town, 500 in this town, and we're finding more bodies every day. This is, this is an ongoing process. Um, my team has cadaver dogs that have been going out. We have med teams that are going out. Um, it's not only deaths from the storm, but deaths since the storm. There's a huge need particularly in our Hispanic communities. A lot of them are scared. There's border patrol trucks driving around and they're scared to ask for help. We've lost two Hispanic children to hypothermia in our community this week because they they didn't know that help was out there for them and they don't know who to trust. Um, sorry. Um, so the, the devastation in this area is beyond what anything that I've ever seen before. It's it's beyond what anybody that has lived it has seen before. We're, we're talking to survivors that rode their house a mile down the river. We're talking to people that sat there and told us about 40 foot walls of water looking like tsunamis coming through these towns that have never seen anything like this and they've lived there their entire lives. Elderly people are sitting here telling me that they rode their house down the river. Again, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories or uh, anything crazy, but as someone who has been there and, and been out there since basically the beginning, uh, when this first started, I've spent two weeks in various locations, and it's bad. The infrastructure is gone. They're talking about months before power is restored. We're going into winter. These people have no power. Their houses are unlivable. They're covered in mold, mildew. Everything's falling apart. They're sleeping in tents. They're sleeping on their porches. I mean, their <laughs> help is, is coming, but it's it's hard when there's tens of thousands of people in these small towns that are being forgotten about. And we're, we're doing our best to help them. We have spent all week delivering heaters and propane and cook stoves and blankets and sleeping bags and hot meals and taking these people. We have shower trucks that we're taking them to, shuttling them back and forth. Um, we've been fixing people's driveways. We have large equipment crews out, crews out. We have chainsaw crews out, cutting trees off of people's houses, getting their roofs tarped up for them. Um, it, the community is out here and, and we are doing good things and we are helping them, but the need is so high and it will be for months and I'm I'm worried that people are gonna forget about North Carolina, especially with everything that just happened in Florida, um, but this is not something that's gonna stop next week and you're hearing about supply warehouses that are full, that's a good thing because these supplies are gonna be needed for months and months and months and donations are going to stop coming in. So yes, we're stockpiling a little bit, um, but we're also running out of things. I mean, when we have a ton of food and water, that's great, and people need that, and we're passing it out, and it's it's getting it's going to use. But 
We need generators. We need diesel. We need off-road diesel. We need fuel. We need propane. We need kerosene. We need propane heaters, kerosene heaters. We need socks. We need sleeping bags. We need medications. There's there's a, a huge list of things that these people still need and they're not being donated. So um, if you're looking for a way to help out and uh, I, I can get you in touch with that. You can send it directly to us, uh, Jack Stables. We have a fund that is going directly toward uh, the relief out here. Uh, but mainly, I just I want to get information out to, to the public about what's going on out here from someone who has been there firsthand on the ground, boots on the ground, and has seen it. And you're probably not going to watch this far into the video anyway, but they need help. They need our help. And I don't know why the news is not covering this in an accurate way, uh, but, and, and I don't, like I said, I don't want to get into any crazy theories or anything, but these are just the facts. You can draw your own conclusions, and if you guys have any questions, I'm happy to try to answer them for you. Like I said, we're out in Swannanoa. We're running a huge ops team out there. I've been in charge of their dispatch for all of the operations. All the leads are coming into me. I'm vetting them. I'm running a lot of recon. Um, I'm working from home for the next two days, and I'm probably going to be going back out this week um, to assist them because this is something that's going to be going on for months, and I plan to help them until that community is rebuilt and they no longer need me. So, um, yeah, that's your Western North Carolina update. And if you guys can help out in any way, uh, thoughts, prayers, donations, uh, we have an Amazon list, there's a GoFundMe, uh, or you can, like I said, you can Venmo it directly to us, and we will make sure that it gets where it needs to go.